Frogs are fascinating creatures that have adapted to live on land and in water. One of the most interesting things about frogs is how they breathe. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the unique respiratory system of frogs and learn how they are able to survive both on land and in water. First, let's talk about the lungs of frogs. Like most animals, frogs have lungs that they use to breathe air. However, frogs have a unique lung structure that allows them to take in air through their skin as well as their lungs. This is known as cutaneous respiration. The skin of a frog is moist and permeable, which means that oxygen can pass through it and into the frog's bloodstream. This is especially useful for frogs that live in water, as they are able to breathe through their skin while they are submerged. This adaptation allows them to stay underwater for longer periods of time without having to come up for air. But what about frogs that live on land? They still have the ability to breathe through their skin, but they also have lungs that they use to breathe air. The lungs of a frog are relatively small, but they are very efficient. They are able to extract a large amount of oxygen from the air and deliver it to the frog's bloodstream. Frogs also have a unique system of muscles that helps them to breathe. These muscles are located near the ribcage and are responsible for expanding and contracting the lungs. When the muscles contract, they cause the lungs to expand, which allows the frog to take in more air. Now let's move on to the second unique respiratory system of frog, which is the buccal pumping. This is a process where the frog pumps air in and out of its mouth using its hyoid muscles. This method is used to extract oxygen from the air and is used when the frog is sitting still or when it's not able to breathe through its skin. The final part of the frog's respiratory system is the larynx. This is a small organ that is located near the frog's throat. It is responsible for controlling the flow of air in and out of the lungs. The larynx also plays an important role in the frog's vocalization. In conclusion, frogs have a unique and adaptable respiratory system that allows them to survive both on land and in water. They are able to breathe through their skin, lungs, and buccal pumping. This allows them to extract oxygen from the air and from water. This adaptation allows them to survive in a variety of environments and is a testament to the incredible adaptability of these fascinating creatures. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to appreciate the next frog you encounter and how it can survive in different conditions with its unique respiratory system.